hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so in our last video we found a way to pause um, our game using a pause menu problems were over there using this time scale and in today's video i promised that i was going to do four problems involving the time scale and their possible solutions so that is what we'll be looking at today so our first problem is going to be the update now there are two possible solutions for this update and if you watched our last video then you you would know that um, I promised I was going to find a solution to this and I did so in our last video we created this with a simple pause menu which works okay you can see while it's playing it's controlling this plane which switch um, switches random colors and when I hit the pause it doesn't stop so you can see that this black box is up which shows it's paused and then it doesn't stop uh changing colors so that is one of the issues with time scale and on this script which is attached to the plane all i have is a mesh renderer a reference to it and then at runtime it's going to be switching colors so what we do now the first solution to this problem is to create a way or to relate this um random color change um together with uh, a time a time-based calculation so right now what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to create two floats one float this would be time since changed uh, so that would be nothing for now and then the second one would be a public float so you can edit it however you want in the inspector so this would be my time to change right so by default I'm going to set this to 0 0.1 F and then you can update it however you like this speed however should be okay so what is going what we're going to do is find a way to slow this down and I forgot the flute so let's add that so we'll find a, what this um, condition is going to be based on is finding a way to slow this um, random color um, change so inside our update what we can do now is um this time since changed we're going to add this with our time dot delta delta time and this should do this should be perfectly okay okay uh the next is going to be um we're going to create an if statement for this so we're going to say if my mesh that's the reference to our mesh renderer is not equal to null and and this time since changed is not greater than or equal to our time to change then we want to execute this um, line of code so we're going to cut this and paste this inside here and below this um, my mesh what we want to do is change the time since changed this would be equal to zero now so once it gets equal to time to change then it's going to be set to zero after this has been changed so let's save this now that our plane is changing colors but of course not as rapid as before it has been slowed down you can go ahead and play with that um, time to change um, variable uh, since it's public there will be no problem but look at this now if I should hit the pause button it stops so and the reason why this is is because I gave it a condition including time um, calculations so this time dot delta time in essence it changes everything so this code will not be executed with just this being true this also has to be true before it can be executed so that's a way to kind of stop the update but then another way we can do this is by removing all this clearing this line of code um, and taking this back to what it was before
so we can go ahead and clear all of this delete and change this void update to fixed update So let's save this now and see if it has the same effect. So we did play now. Go ahead and hit the pause and you can see it stops. So fixed update, unlike the update, is meant for calculations. So time dot time scale doesn't work on the update, but it works on our fixed update. So um, that will be all for the first problem. Second problem is going to audio now um time skill does not affect our audio in any way this means that if um, we're, we end up pausing the game it's not going to affect the audio the same song is going to keep playing and the simple way which you can do this is by inserting is by um is by inserting this line of code so this is the simple line of code first you make a reference to the audio listener and then you pause it so there is an audio listener added um, at the bottom of your main camera but if for some reason you want to change the position of this in a game object this is your audio listener so um, this is what you use this is what you use if you want to pause it and then you return true return false if you want it to be deactivated which is come back to normal and that will be all for the audio and our third problem is going to be a cor the coroutine. Now, the coroutine has not much of a problem, but then if you're using um, the normal yield return you wait for seconds, it's not going to stop uh, the coroutine from being activated. What you need to do rather is add a real return you wait for real seconds, and this would take care of everything regarding the coroutine. So if you pause it using time scale, it's going to stop automatically using this little line of code. Now final problem will be nothing more than the animation. Inside the animation tag, now what you need to do is for the animator, all you have to do is come down here to where the update mode is, click on this normal and change this to on scale time. This way it's going to be affected by the time scale. So you can pause it now using this. So these are the three, four problems which we'll be having. So to go through what I just said quickly, um, these are the solutions for the problems. The first one would be to use the fixed update or to use related to physics that's giving it a condition. A second would be to remember to use the pause or remember to pause our audio listener anyway so we can set that to true or false um, when we're trying to pause it and the file uh, the third one is use wait, wait for real seconds rather than um, wait for normal seconds so don't forget to do that don't forget to do that and finally change animation time to unskilled so i hope this helps you in any way possible if it did don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.